Hey guys, well I just walked in the front door of Home Plate and I've rebuilt this place several, several times. I just uh, got to the point now where I maxed out on options to build, like I'd have to scrap something to throw something else down. And I'm pretty content now with what I've done. Um, all of this is on the PlayStation 4, um, no mods whatsoever. Uh, no, trust them. And so this is just most of the stuff you just get from Creation Club. And I strongly encourage anybody to uh, do that because hopefully the more stuff, the more people buy it, the more they'll make. Because there's no reason this game has to die. Um, I know for a lot of people, they're like, oh, that's so, that's five years ago. Well, it's new to me. Like, I just started playing it when this COVID shit started happening. So, it is getting kind of old now. I'm a level 123, and there's really nothing left to do other than try to figure out what happened to Trader Riley. I don't know why she disappeared on me. I had her at the Red Rocket, and uh, she's just gone. So, I don't know if she can be killed. Um, I went back to where I originally found her. She's not there. I didn't find any body. I don't know if I accidentally sent her somewhere. It's possible, but... Um, the other thing is the gun, the deliverer. Uh, no clue where that went. I went to every companion. You know, I know they're notorious for grabbing weapons, especially if you're being, you know, attacked and there's one on the wall and they're nearby, they will grab it just like they get in their power armor. Even my dog, when I wasn't being attacked, grabbed a sword up the wall. I was like, you motherfucker. But yeah. Anyway, I nominate myself for best build here. She's kind of ruining the shot there, but I got some uh, bobbleheads up there. Well, I'll go down here first. It's the living room. It's where we chill and watch nothing. And I don't know, I just love the children of Adam. They're really creepy looking, but um, it's the most like appropriate theme, you know, faction for this game and that's you know you want this stuff to look gnarly and old and that's why I had an issue with a lot of the people building stuff looking brand new it's like that's not going to happen you know you're kind of ruining the uh, believability of the game in fact things would be further deteriorated than they are like there ain't gonna be much left of anything. People would be probably living in caves. Oh yeah. Come on, baby, let's snuggle up. Let's keep me warm, snuggled under these sheets. We got the soft glow of Adam's light to keep us warm. And then here's my attic. And the Christmas tree, which I threw up there just because. Why not? And it just so happens that tomorrow's Christmas. But I've had that up there for like a month just because a couple colored lights look cool. But there you go, y'all. Uh, if you think yours is better, that's cool. Put a link. I'd like to check it out. I'm sticking with mine. But uh, I would like to see what else you guys have done with your home plate. Uh, it's a pretty challenging place to try to design. I think it's the most challenging, uh, with the exception of Red Rocket. I did a lot of shit with that and uh, pretty much try to mirror what I did here, but in a smaller space. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's very functional. Uh, you can get through easy. And it pretty much displays 
anything I could want to display. Um, I did at one point have the uh, ski ball machine in here, but it's just way too big. And so there's there's definitely limitations, but um, like I said, I don't know. I haven't seen a better one yet. I've seen some decent ones, but I'm being biased and sticking with mine, you know. But I will admit, if I find a better one, I will bow down to you. So there it is. And if nothing else, hopefully this uh, gives you some ideas if you're wondering what you should do with your home plate or maybe some other settlement. Um, but keep it, keep it dirty and grungy. That's how it's supposed to be, man. There ain't no fucking showers here. You ain't gonna put brand new rugs and couches down. That don't happen. So don't use the shiny stuff. Use the beat, the stuff that's been beat up a little bit. When you have the option on your furniture and stuff. So make it believable. Alrighty, y'all. Hope you all have a good Christmas and uh, appreciate the five of you that watch this video. And um, like I said, leave me a comment or message me and uh, get any info or any suggestions or anything like that. I'm approachable. I'm a pretty nice person. So other than that, take care.